My name is Pastor Moses Borjas, and I pastor a church here in El Paso uh, called Pacto Viviente, or Living Covenant Church. The church here in El Paso is going on, uh, it's already on 15 years, but we've been pastoring for 22 years already. Through my mom, I'm a fourth generation pastor. Through my dad, I'm a second generation pastor. So there's kind of, there's kind of a, a legacy and inheritance and it's in my sangre, it's in my blood. El agua tiene tanto poder para mover todas estas piedras y mientras estaba corriendo el agua iba moviendo las piedras. But my dad used to, he was a mountain hiker. He would take us out to the deserts, you know, because we lived in the outskirts of El Paso. So we would walk the arroyos, we would walk the deserts, and he would always have a, a New Testament Bible here in his, in his pocket. And he would come to a tree in the desert, just like the one behind us, find a little bit of shade, sit down, get a rock, sit down and rest. And then he would start teaching us about the Gospels and the story of Jesus. My dad taught us and said, Esta vida va a ser dura, hijo. El ministerio no es fácil. Ministry is not easy. This life can get hard, but you gotta keep trusting God. Even though at the moment it hurts to keep going on, you gotta trust God. I think in Christianity, we, a lot of times we are always wanting to tell to God what's important to us and not ask Him what's important to you. There comes a moment as a believer that you gotta ask God, what is important to you, God? And I'm gonna say that one of those things is, he tells us, my creation is important. Now, when we don't take care of it, what happens? You know, we take away the value. I feel that that's what we are having, and with all due respect, mental crisis, mental challenges. Just look at what happened during COVID. When we're inside, we start struggling because we were not made to be inside. A church will not be effective if it's always inside. You know, Jesus would always go outside. One of those scriptures where he fed 5,000, he fed them in the desert like this. It makes you understand that the ministry of Jesus to touch people's lives is, is, uh, is outside. And I think ministry has to be that way too. Entonces, nuestra ciudad requiere gente como ustedes, como nosotros, que seamos voces que seamos gente de fe, que tomemos, y voy a decir en inglés, that we would have pride of our city, que tengamos un, un sentir de contentamiento y alegría por nuestra ciudad, y que podamos decir, yo voy a bendecir mi ciudad, voy a orar por mi ciudad, voy a creer que Dios tiene un propósito para nuestra ciudad. If you really think about it, every day is an investment of what we're doing for tomorrow. Whether you do nothing, you know, that's an investment or whatever seed you sow, it's gonna come out. The question is, what are we sowing? Are we sowing our voices to be heard? Are we sowing our hearts, our, our actions? Or are we just gonna say, stay silent and, and say, well, you know, I really don't care about it. Hoy, Padre, declaramos, Señor, y oramos, Padre Santo, que tú llegues y traigas consuelo, que traigas fortaleza, que traigas, Señor, este día a un alumbramiento, una esperanza nueva, Señor, para muchos jóvenes que están luchando, Señor, y pensando que ya su vida no vale. Vuelve a poner, Señor, en ellos el espíritu de vida. Vuelve a poner un espíritu de esperanza, Señor. Aviva nuestra ciudad. Aviva nuestras iglesias, aviva nuestra ciudad del paso, Señor, en el nombre de Jesucristo. Estamos creyéndolo. Amén, amén, amén. Siempre para bien. Always so for good. That's what my dad used to say. He said, because what maybe you won't see, your kids will. He says, so if you saw something good on somebody today, you don't know how much impact that would have tomorrow.